Hey guys, it's Sydney at TRG. As promised, I'm here to update you on the Soul F89. As you can see, we have it. So how did it work for us and does it live up to the hype? Let's find out. All right, let's start with the construction. So the Soul F89 is the premium folding treadmill from Soul. So it's a step up from the F85. It's currently priced at $3,300, at least at the time of filming this. So it's pricey, but it has a lot of nice training features and really nice construction. Its dimensions are 83 inches long, 38 inches wide, and 68 inches tall. The F89 is a large folding treadmill and it's heavy at 314 pounds, but it folds up and it can be moved about around pretty easily considering its size. When the deck is folded, it's just 44 inches long. And to fold it, you just lift up the back end of the deck and push it up towards the console. The deck is a little bit heavier than other folding treadmills. It even feels heavier than the F85. I'm still working on getting my strength back after having a baby a few months ago, so it feels a little more challenging to me to fold than other folding treadmills right now, but it's doable for most people. Unfolding it is easy. It has a yellow handle that you pull for the deck to slowly lower to the floor on its own. And when it's folded, you can push it around because of the transportation wheels that are under the frame. So you don't have to tip it back to engage the wheels like you do with other folding treadmills with, that have fewer wheels. And it's a good idea to have a designated spot for a treadmill of this size and weight, but if you need to move the F89 out of the way, you can. And it has the same Z-shaped frame as the F80 and F85 that's modeled really after the Peloton tread, but the frame is made out of andonized aluminum. I really like that it's sleek and the coating makes it feel high-end and it's corrosion resistant, of course. And overall, the F89 feels really stable. So the construction is really everything that we love about Soul treadmills. It's solid, durable, and powerful, all while being a little bit sleeker than Soul's other treadmills. It also feels a little more heavier duty than the F80 and the F85. The screen shakes like a tiny bit, which is expected with treadmills with large screens like this one. You can see the shake when someone's on the deck running, so when you're off and you're watching someone use the F89, but when you're running on it, it really isn't noticeable and it's really minimal. And the F89 handles up to 375 pounds, which is a great weight limit. It's also backed by Soul's lifetime frame and motor warranty, which definitely helps instill confidence in the overall construction. And the handles are good for when you need to catch your balance. The front handle is one continuous piece that I like, so it's easy to hold on to. And the motor is powerful. It's a 4.0 horsepower DC motor, so it's made for home use and it's designed to handle a lot of training. So if you're training for a marathon or if you have multiple users in your household, the F89 is a good option. This is typically one of the largest DC motor sizes that we see in home treadmills. It's quiet, so the F89 should work well in most homes as far as noise. It also has nice training options. So it goes up to 12 miles per hour, which is a five minute mile running pace. This is pretty typical for uh, maximum speed for home treadmills. And then it has 15 levels of incline and six levels of decline. So the incline and decline allow you to add a lot of variety to your training and it can help simulate running up and down hills outside. And one thing you might notice by looking at the F89 is that the deck isn't completely flat when it's at a 0% grade. So We've noticed this with newer treadmills from Soul. They're slightly inclined when they're adjusted to 0%. And we've been actually working on testing this and we've found that most home treadmills from several brands aren't actually completely flat when they're set to a 0% grade. The F89 is a little bit higher than other treadmills we've tested, but you can get pretty close to 0% by adding a little bit of the decline if you, you know, really wanna run on a completely flat surface. Another aspect that I want to point out in our testing that we found with Soul treadmills is that they tend to adjust more slowly than brands like Horizon and Nordic Track. 
It takes the F89 longer to get up to speed when we do our test from one miles per hour up to 12 miles per hour. Horizon is one of the fastest treadmill brands to adjust, so we recommend those especially for interval training. You can definitely do interval training on the F89. It just takes a little bit longer for the treadmill to adjust between the speed and incline levels. Now, one of my favorite aspects of sole treadmills is how solid they feel to run on, and that is in large part due to the deck. So the F89 has a solid deck and it's large. It's 22 inches wide and 60 inches long. This is the largest treadmill deck that we see on folding treadmills. And it's really large enough to support all stride lengths and fitness levels. The side rails are also all black instead of silver like the F85, so it makes the F89 look a little bit sleeker. And the deck cushioning feels pretty firm underfoot, so when testing treadmills, we found that soles tend to be pretty firm to run on. It has shock absorption, so this is the give in the deck that when your feet land while running. So unlike concrete outside that doesn't have any shock absorption, this will help lessen the impact on your joints that comes with running. If you have joint sensitivity or joint issues, you might want to look at a softer cushion treadmill like a Nordic Track or a Horizon. But if you're a runner who wants to uh, you want a treadmill that feels more similar to running outside on the road, then the F89 is a good option. The F89 has the same layout as Sol's other treadmills with touchscreens. This screen is the largest though, it's 21.5 inches. And this is my favorite screen size. It's plenty large for viewing the content and navigating the workouts. My only problem with the screen is that it isn't adjustable. It would be nice if it pivoted side to side for off the treadmill training, but it would be even nicer if it just tilted forward. This way, the way it is right now, it's angled back so you can see it well, but it's hard to reach, especially while running. When I go to select something on the screen or even use the quick adjustment buttons on the side, I have to hold on to the front handle. I'm pretty short uh, at only five foot one, but our other members, even Matt, who's six foot five, say that they have problems uh, using the screen and the quick adjustment buttons when they're running too. And then if I shift a little bit too far forward on the deck, I'll hit the motor hood with my foot. So I think if the screen could angle forward to be a little closer, or if the deck was shifted uh, forward a little bit, or maybe just a combination of the two, this would make using the screen overall easier while running. While walking, I'm okay to go through the library of classes or just use the streaming apps just fine. I like that the quick adjustment buttons are on either side of the screen, but like I said, they're hard for me to reach, and they also skip some key metrics like six and eight miles per hour and level 15 of incline. I wish that they had all of the levels on both sides for the speed and incline. I use the front switch buttons that are on the front handle just below. They adjust the speed by a tenth and they adjust the incline by level one. You can adjust them more quickly by holding them down, but there is a little bit of a delay when you do this, so otherwise these, these buttons work just fine. The speakers are clear and they go plenty loud. There isn't a button to adjust the volume on the console though, so you have to adjust it on the screen, which can definitely be hard while you're running. I would like to see a volume button added to Soul's treadmills with touch screens in the future. The fan also needs some updating. It's pretty useless. You'll definitely need to plug in your own. The air points to the side of the treadmill rather than at you. I really like the wireless charging pad, so it charges your compatible phone. I also just like putting my phone here when I'm using the F89. It holds my phone in place and I can see it really well from here. There's also an adjustable top device rack for your phone or a larger tablet so you can stream content from your own device. There are also two cup holders to hold your water and two smaller pockets to hold smaller items, so overall the F89 has everything you need on the console. All right, now let's get into the good stuff, which is the content. All right, so in a fairly recent update, Soul now includes workouts from the Soul Plus app on their treadmills with touchscreens. So you can stream the trainer-led on-demand workout videos straight from the F89. There are hundreds of these workouts available and there's collections of them for focus training, like training for a half marathon, hill training, and speed drills. What's best about these workouts is that they're free, so you don't need to pay a subscription membership to access them. 
These workouts aren't quite to the same level as iFit or Peloton's trainer-led workouts, but we really like that they come included with the F89. And you can also access more workouts from the Soul Plus app on your phone for free when you purchase the F89. The instructors are energetic and there's a preset playlist of music that plays in the background of each workout. And you can do workouts on the treadmill and then follow up with mat workouts like strength training and stretching straight from the screen. There's also standard onboard workout programs. So you can choose from programs like Hill or Cardio or HIT or Fat Burn. These are pretty typical and they have preset speed and incline settings for the treadmill to automatically adjust to. But in the trainer led workouts, just so you know, the F89 doesn't automatically uh, adjust based on the instructor's cues. So keep that in mind. You have to adjust the treadmill yourself when you're doing these videos. There's also manual mode to do your own thing. And then you can also take some fitness tests on the F89. And then also included are 12 preloaded streaming apps. So these include apps like Netflix and Hulu, Amazon Prime, Spotify, and YouTube. These are all available to stream directly from the F89 screen. So all you need to do is log into your account for each and start streaming. There isn't an additional subscription fee that you have to pay to access them. And then if all of this isn't enough, you can also screen mirror content from your phone. So you can screen mirror the Soul Plus app for the additional trainer led workouts or really whatever you want on your own device. This is a little bit more seamless to do with an iPhone, but you can screen mirror Android phones. You just need to download a separate screen mirroring app. And navigating all of these features is fairly straightforward, but I suggest getting your workout in the streaming show or whatever you want set up before you work out because it's hard to use the screen while running, like I mentioned. I also recommend pairing your phone with the Soul Plus app. So then you pair it to the F89 to make a profile on the treadmill. So you'll need to create a profile in the Soul Plus app on your phone. And then there's a QR code on the F89 screen to pair it. This way your workout history is saved in your profile and your login information for the streaming apps is saved so you don't have to re-log in every time that you use the F89. And really, I appreciate Soul for including all of this content with the F89, and it's nice to stream everything from this large touchscreen. All right, now I'm gonna hop on the F89 so you can see in here in action. But first, if you find this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. We test and review all kinds of fitness equipment so you know what to expect. I'm gonna walk and run, and then I'm gonna do that full decline and the full incline. So I'm just gonna start at a casual walking pace. I'm at three miles per hour. Now I'm gonna bump it up to six miles per hour. Here's eight miles per hour. Let's check out that decline, negative 6%. So just like the F85, the incline and decline's at the back, so the decline adjusts the back, the back of the deck. Here is that full incline. Level 15. So 
So here's that level 15, which is the full incline. Overall, the F89 makes pretty much typical noise of a treadmill. It gets a little bit louder as the speed increases, but overall it's pretty quiet. All right, now Matt, who's six foot five, is going to hop on the F89. Here he is at three miles per hour. Seven miles per hour. And nine miles per hour. Thanks for watching my review of the Soul F89. I really like that there are trainer-led workouts and streaming apps like Netflix included without having to pay an additional subscription fee. So all the content is included on the large touchscreen. And this is a premium treadmill from Soul with premium construction. It has a stable deck that I love about the brand, so it can handle a lot of use and it helps to simulate the feeling of running outside. And it inclines and declines, so you can really change up your training. And this treadmill is great for most people. It has a 375 pound weight limit and a large deck to support all strides. Plus it folds up when you're done and it's fairly easy to move around considering its weight and its size. Some things that we'd like to see improved is the screen. So it isn't adjustable, so it can be a little hard to reach and navigate all of the content features while running. It's also more expensive than Soul's other treadmills that we love like the F80 and F85. And the cushioning is firm, which is great for road runners, but it might not be best for those with joint sensitivities. Overall, we're impressed with the construction and everything that the Soul F89 has to offer for intense training. To learn more, head over to treadmillreviewguru.com. I have a full written review of the F89 with even more details there. And to check the current price, click the link below in the description. This is our affiliate link and purchasing through here helps us out at no extra cost to you. And if you find this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. We test all of the latest treadmills and other fitness equipment so you know what to expect and you can choose the right machine for you. I'm Sydney at TRG, I'll see you next time.